Take the chance and roll the dice. So, Pro Dog, what do you think of the mech suit? He Oof. seems utterly indifferent to the mech suit. <laughs> He's utterly indifferent to a lot of the games we play. I think it's because we suck. That might be it. Press R1 to do even worse things. Oh my god. Block pushing. Yay! This has always been a quality mechanic. Yes, it has. <clears throat> well, at least we get to see these things preemptively. And they die in one hit because technically we're supposed to be killing it with the mech. <laughs> so they only have one hit point. But that's why we'll be... We're not... So, pro tip... It's not cheating if the game oh, lets hi. us do it. Can't be arcane. Oh. Neat. Yum. <laughs> Delicious, ancient precursor chocolate. Oh, that's right. Uh, it, I think there's a. If we can get to number forty, we're gonna pop a whole bunch of precursor egg trophies. Oh really? Because while well, we switched PS uh, three systems that we're playing on, oh, and we didn't no. transfer over our trophy save. <laughs> our, <laughs> we transferred over the save, but not the trophy um, can, uh, file. So <laughs> we'll get a whole bunch. I I can just imagine. Do I? I don't have a way. I think I need to push it over there. But I don't really have a way of uh, looking around, and it sucks. Let me get out of my giant armored suit to look around the the area. That's dangerous enough to warrant having a giant yeah. armored suit. Yep. Wait a second. Nope. Someone didn't think this through. Die. Oh, he took two hits. He did. See, it's not cheating. It's a legitimate challenge. Now, if only Jack would fire at the thing that I'm pointing at. If only Jack would fire at the danger rather than the wall next to the danger. Oh, that's a very dangerous wall. Only Jack could truly figure out how to say, What's up, danger? I mean, what's up, danger? Danger mouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Can you pull it? Yeah, I'll yeah, I guess can. you can. I don't think there's enough room for you to fit between the rock and the hard place. I also can apparently... <clears throat> two, three, four, Hey, you can do squat five, contests six. to win the right to take that ah, no, no. lovely... To take Princess Hime to the ball. Yes. Okay, so... And also to win the right to wear the blonde wig. <laughs> why, why do I get... Why do I want to... Well, that was the thing. Aww. Aww, dead. You had to do squats uh, and do yes, squats yes. in Final Fantasy VII in order to win the blonde wig from the weightlifters. That's all they were, weightlifters. The, uh, <clears throat> so did you hear Final Fantasy VII Remake got delayed again? I mean, what else is new? I mean, it's, it's Final Fantasy VII. But, but I'm glad that it's delayed and rather not just... Uh, we're, we're just going to throw this out here and call it early access. No! No! <laughs> no! I wasn't ready! Okay. Um, but as part of that delay... Uh-huh. Uh, you have to opt in to reconfirm your pre-order, or they're canceling it. Why? What sense does that make? I don't know. I, I just, I know Swear, it... I don't care if it's delayed, I still want it. I just want it when you release it. I think that's what the pre-order signifies, right? Uh, apparently not. I, I, I don't not know... Not that I have pre-ordered. Yeah, I haven't either. Um... <laughs> Because it's only part one. 
Oh, really? Yeah, it's an episodic game. Uh, uh, and I'm fairly sure the episodes are... Uh, each disc will be a separate Of course. Because part one is supposed to be... Um, the Midgard area. Yeah. So, like, the just disc one. Or not even all of disc one, because disc one goes a little... Just a little bit past... But yeah, Disc 1 goes past Midgard. Yeah, but not that far. Disc 1 goes until the ship to Junon, right? No, Disc 1 goes until, um... Uh, the reunion thing. Does like, it? Like, you, you follow all those reunion guys, and then... Uh, spoiler alerts happen after that. And then it's Disc 2. Oh, that's... Uh, for whatever reason... Because it's... At least as far as I remember it. It's been a very long time. Because how, how many discs is it? Three. Total? Yeah, because... It's it's eight that was four. Right. Okay. For whatever reason, and I thought... four was two. <laughs> and six was three. Yes, it was. And five wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Until a very long time. And then it became very many shittier versions of itself. Yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about them. Not on this place. This is a wholesome Christian channel. <laughs> This is a place of fun. <laughs> uh, 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 no, no, stop shooting my mech. I forgot he was there. Don't shoot my mech. It's mine. Stop. No. I shoot you. <laughs> Hello, camera. My greatest enemy. Apparently my greatest enemy is... Jack himself. Uh, yeah, that's that seems accurate. Okay, so get back in the mech. Oh, good. I only took one hit from that. I thought for whatever reason I thought I was like, oh, I'm down to half health. Might as well start over. <laughs> now I'm super paranoid. <laughs> as well, you should be. You're only in a gigantic walking robot suit. I mean, it could be bigger. It could be. Where my you could have a giant no! energy scythe. No. It despawned. My oh. My omega threes. Uh, my fatty acids. I need them. <laughs> All right, where it said R one to grab. Oh. Are we hurling things now? I think we're hurling things. Because there's a pillar over there. Yep. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> that was lucky. That was also so... Eh. <laughs> eh. Yeah, it was kind of an anemic throw. It's like, well, I guess. And it hit the barest corner pixel of that pillar. Eh. That one was a little heftier. Also, why would you make me do this game? Like, fucking seriously. Because we hate you. Well, could you not? It's supposed to be challenging. Therefore, if we put in some parts that suck, you'll think it was a challenge. Well, I feel challenged. All right, so I'm going to get out of the mech. The game designer was challenged. I'm going to go up here into our old house. Oh, wow. I spent many a day cleaning up this place for old Greeny. Yeah, you forgot this, didn't you? Wow. Is that a heart? No, it's uh, a seed. Before we came through the rift long ago, I was nurturing that life seed from the great tree. Wow. It seems the metalheads are attracted to its power. Its power. Take the seed to Onan now. She will prepare it for Samus. Y you mean you? No, the other me, Daxter. My younger self needs the seed's power to become sagely. So, let me get this straight. It's fair to say that by bringing your younger self the life seed now, we help you become the sage you are today. We help you get your powers in the first place. And you never thanked us? Thank you, Dexter. Now go do it! <laughs> there... There oh is... My God. ...an explanation for why he would never have thanked them previously. Well... Because... Little Samos has no idea who these two are, and... I mean, I don't, and, I don't imagine that 
Little Samos is the one who... I don't think you deliver it right to him, do you? You deliver it to somebody else who then gives it to Samos. He doesn't know your role in this. I believe that is the sequence of events, yes. Yeah, so of course not. It's only now that Samos found out that, oh right, I sent you on the mission to get me powers well after I had gotten my powers, but so that I could go back in time and get those powers to begin, and then the bootstrap paradox has made me gone cross-eyed. Uh. It's okay. All you need to know, Patrick, is that this game is a closed loop, uh, a closed time loop. At least it's not an open time loop. Yeah, that would be bad. All right. Unfortunately, events just have to transpire. They don't have to necessarily transpire the same way. It's just that if something happens, it's going to happen. It doesn't matter how bonkers it gets. It's going to happen, right? Kind of. Like, okay, this character... Uh, goes to the store. He could be kidnapped by uh, Mongolian bears and forced to dance in... Uh, Mongolian bear prison. Yes. Uh, but he will still end up going to that one store that was important for him to visit. Uh, it's just going to take a little while. And a roundabout way of getting him there. Sure. Because tight. We'll go with that. Just because you made... Just... <laughs> Just thinking of that made my head hurt, and it made MLG Pro Dog's chin just like she's trying to see. She's trying to dig it out of her head. She's trying to dig that thought out of her head. At no point in your incoherent rambling was anything close to a rational thought. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Yes. Okay, a simple no would have sufficed. <laughs> <laughs> so who is preparing the seed to turn into uh, liquid superpowers? We are going to go take it to Onan, who is the um, wise woman in the bazaar. How strange. Exactly. <sighs> so we're going to take it to her so she can prepare it so that little Samos can use it to become sagely. Drink his uh, life seed smoothie. Yep. It's but great for breakfast. It is great for breakfast. But first, we're going to we're gonna take a side trip. You nurture a, a seed. You would nurture a seed and expect it to grow into the plant from which the, the, which the seed makes. Right? Patrick, you, you are overthinking the MacGuffin. Yes, I am. Don't overthink. Why the do you nurture a seed? You preserve a seed. You hold it. You, you you put it in a plastic box. There, I've nurtured the seed. Except I've I've not done that. It's still a seed. It's I've kept it safe. It's dormant. If I nurture a seed, that means you plant the goddamn thing, and you expect to see like a life tree. Well, Yggdrasil two, electric boogaloo. He did say that's exactly what he was doing. Well, he's gonna he's gonna make turn him into sage powers. Well, he's gonna have life smoothie. <laughs> I think I think it's a he bonds with Yggdrasil and gain, gains its powers along with it growing. I don't. What, uh. <laughs> cut, cut to Samos and the seed just kind of sitting on a couch sharing a uh, sharing a beer. Like you know what, it, seed, you're all right. Clink, <laughs> chug, <laughs> pour some out. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll see what Vin wants next time because Patrick made my head hurt. <laughs> <laughs> 